Alhamdulillah by the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, You are seeing this is one of the creation of Allah Jalla Majduhu uh, Now as you see they are coming around uh, Whoever have something to uh, feed them And every day if someone passes and they see they come flocking to that person why? because they get some provision and risk same uh, is the example of malaika and angel that they also uh, need risk and their risk is the uh, dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's why in the hadith is mentioned when there are majalis of dhikr uh, the angels actually come flocking towards that because they get their risk and what they love and their sustenance and energy which they feed on so the lesson for us actually that any person who is a person of dhikr who stays in the remembrance of Allah for the dhikr of Allah a particular time uh, angels will actually accompany him they will benefit from him because of dhikr and they will also pray for him as well and same is the case actually if a person does evil things uh, when they are alone or in uh, actually groups then uh, shayateen shayateen are attracted toward evil because the shayateen and jinnat they feed on darkness and bad acts and evil acts and sins uh, so whenever they see anywhere so they flock and then obviously they harm that person further so individually, if a person is somewhere or actually collectively, they should avoid doing actually which invite shayateen, which are shaitanic act, which actually then actually bring darkness and ultimately that person will be harmed. So let's say for example, someone is having a birthday party or marriage party. If they do this actually something evil, uh, an evil act, and then obviously the effect will be on their life and marriage. Similarly. If actually a person does that say, he celebrates, he does dhikr, he does aqeetah according to the sunnah, the marriage according to the sunnah, or in the home he is actually, or she is in the remembrance, they are attracting goodness, the angels which of mercy come. That's why you also find in a hadith that Prophet Islam said there are certain houses uh, which angels do not enter, angels of mercy, etc etc so there is a lesson for us actually uh, in there as well and moreover i'm not saying one should only duas and prayers come from angels even actually animals and birds if you do good to them uh, they also worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they may also pray for you as well so actually a person should be good with any of the creation in whichever one way we can <laughs>